Hi guys and dolls, Michelle back with a little video. These are the products I'm going to be using today to create a Halloween set. I did post one on Instagram a few days ago. Uh, this one I think is a little bit better <laughs> than that one, so I decided to upload it. Um, so this is Imily 007 Black. I show you the first coat. I don't show you the second coat, of course, because it's polish. Please forgive the sloppy application. This was really late on a Saturday night that I did this, and I really shouldn't have, maybe, but I did. So that's Imily 007 on the pointer, middle, and ring finger. And on the pinky and the thumb, I go in with 034 from Valentino. And like I said, just I show you just the first coat. It's a full 60 second cure. It's a 30 second cure for Emily, but the Valentino is a 60 second cure, so they all got a 60 second cure. That green is so perfect for Halloween nails. It's ridiculous. And that's just two thin coats and it is perfectly opaque. That is a layer of She Modern uh, glue gel or gel glue. I'm going to put a little piece of fabric on there in the shape of a coffin or a casket however you want to say it it is a little bit big for what I put on there but I couldn't handle a smaller piece I did cut out a smaller piece I just couldn't handle it <laughs> not with tweezers not with anything because it curled in on the sides and then I couldn't straighten it out so this is it and I outline around uh, the casket in a black gel paint from Venelisa that I just showed you. I'm sorry, my hand is in the way for a lot of it. Look at my cuticles, will you? Look at my cuticles. A hard-working woman, people. <laughs> Actually, we've been doing nine-hour days for the last little while, and it's sad. Uh, I'm used to doing eight-hour days. Nine-hour days are killing me, I'm not going to lie. There we go, just around. And I do flash cure in between when I'm happy with the lines. And again, my hand is in the way. I do apologize. So what I want to put in the middle of this is a little guy I got from Charlie's Nail Art. But before I do that, I do go in with a rather uh, thick layer of She Modern Glue Gel just to smooth out the fabric that I put on there and also to make him stick because the glue gel is great. It's very, very sticky. See, he's the coffin's a little too big for my little skeleton. But like I said, I couldn't handle anything any smaller. So that's it. This decal came from Charlie's Nail Art as well. The one I put on the pinky came from Charlie's Nail Art uh, also. The spider web ones came from um, AliExpress. One has the spider attached to it and the other one's just a web. But I think they're kind of cool. So even though I'm not doing any freehand art really or you know anything crazy, I do like how these turned out. I put um, just some She Modern Glue Gel on there as well just to adhere that little spider that Trey sent me. That is so stinking cute. They do they do have them at Charlie's Nail Art, but I believe she got hers at AliExpress. At any rate, 
it's a cute little thing. And that decal came from Charlie's Nail Art. I believe I said that already. Um, because it's not long enough, I just cover the tip of the nail with black gel polish from Ivy Lee. Before I, you see me touching the, the nail and everything, I did wipe off the tacky layer just so that I could slide the decals around a little bit better. Sometimes I put a base coat on there and, and that helps, but this time I didn't do it. I just wiped off the tacky layer. And now it's top coating time and this video is almost done. So I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating them. I thought they were a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so if you did, if you did like it, please hit the like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And we're coming up to the end of the video. Just give this a 30 second cure because it is I'm Lee and that's all that's required. If you are top coating any kind of nail art, do two top coats just to make sure it's sealed in. Always file the edges of your decals so that the top coat adheres to the nail instead of the decal or you will have lifting. Just a little side note there. I do go around the legs of the spider and everything with a detailer brush. I don't think I left that in with the with the top coat. So anyway, and there we go. That's it for me for now. So ciao and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.